Most of the products that I will be using are from Mary Kay. So the reason I'm using most of the products from this brand is because I received a few samples I think about a couple of weeks ago. I decided instead of using the samples and just me knowing how it feels, I would rather film a video and let you guys know my first impressions on all these products. I am not a Mary Kay consultant nor am I paid to do this video. 100% honest review of what I feel about each product is going to be in this video. If and when you do recreate a look that was inspired by my video, a video of mine that you saw and then recreated the same look to post those pictures up on Instagram and hashtag me with the tag pretty spicy pepper. Uh, the hashtag is down below. Hashtag it to pretty spicy pepper so that I can see how it turns out so that I can see how you guys have recreated it. I'll give you a quick review of all the products I use today. It's a first impressions review. Maybe if I use it two or three times more, I will like it more or like it less. So this is completely first impressions only and not what I think about it after using for a long period of time. Today's look is a very neutral and a daytime appropriate look. But if you want to make it nighttime appropriate, then just wing this liner or make it a cat eye and buy a dark lip color and this will perfectly work as a nighttime look. If you want to know how I got this look, then keep watching. As usual, I start off by priming my face. The foundation I'm using today is by Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation in the shade Beige 4. I know this foundation or this shade looks a little too light for my skin tone these samples were sent to me so there are obvious chances that there would be a slight color variation but hey we can work with it that's the power of good makeup skills the concealer I'm using today is by Revlon color stay and uh, I will be concealing under my eyes and all those areas where I have red spots and just blending all of this and setting all of this with the Rimmel stay matte setting powder I set my entire face as I have super super oily skin the bronze I'm using today is by NYC which is in the shade 707 fire island tan and this is my favorite drugstore bronzer in the entire world I bronze my forehead my nose my cheeks my neck and I move to the brows the brow pencil I'm using today is of course by NYX which is in the shade black and this is my favorite brow pencil and I'm sure most of you have discovered that by now but hey that works best for me and that's why I love it so moving on to the eyes I first set the concealer with the setting powder that I used on my face and I will be taking that light brown shade from the bronzer and applying that as a transition shade on my crease I take the shade Sweet Plum and apply that on my entire lid. Now I take the color Silver Satin and apply that on the outer corner of my lid. This is a very simple eye look, nothing fancy. So now I just blend those two shades in. I take the Sweet Plum shade again and apply that on the inner corner of my eyelid as I felt this color was lost in all that blending. Now I take the shade Moonstone and apply that as my brow bone and inner corner highlight. This was my favorite shade in all the three shades that I received. I love the eyeliner packaging and it's pretty evident. Now I just apply the eyeliner on my waterline and on my lid and just blend the liner on my lid with a brush eyeliner brush it's nothing fancy a very simple line it's a very simple look so I'm not creating a wing but if you want to then please go ahead and do that now I'm applying the Mary Kay ultimate mascara on my lashes and amongst all the products I received this is my favorite it is lengthening and volumizing at the same time 
and I absolutely love it. The blush I'm using today is by Mary Kay Mineral Cheek Color which is in the shade Bold Berry. This is extremely pigmented and extremely pretty. It is a pink shade with a mauve undertone to it. I love the pigmentation guys. It is simply stunning. I finish off this look by applying the cream lipstick by Mary Kay which is in the shade Sweet Nectar. My favorite product that I received or the favorite sample that I received was the mascara. <clears throat> the mascara is Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. I don't know what shade it is in because it's not written here. So, but anyway, this is how the wand looks. And this was the best product according to me because it instantly gave my lashes volume and length my least favorite or the one that i didn't like too much or wasn't great or fabulous like the others was this mary Kay lipstick which is oh what shade sweet nectar which is in the shade sweet nectar so this is a nude color with shine to it. Crazy swatch, but yeah, you, as you can see, it does have like a shine to it. And I'm not a huge fan of lipsticks or gloss that have this crazy sheen or shine to it. I am a person who likes matte more than these kind of glittery glittery shiny shiny lipstick I wasn't a fan the blush I really is relieved the brush I <sighs> the blush I received was the mineral cheek color in the shade bold berry yeah so this is the blush just a second this is the blush and Oh my god, this is my second favorite and all that I received. So, I'm just giving you guys a swatch. It's a pink shade. As the name suggests, it's a berry tone blush. So, it's pink and super, super pretty. So, this one here is the blush. It's amazing. I really liked it. You can see. The eyeshadows I received. I received three shades of eyeshadows. Which were in Moonstone, Silver Stain and Sweet Plum. Excuse the dirty swatching but yeah. This. If you can see. They were just samples that I received. So I have very little left of it. And I'm trying to just play along with those. So this here, as you can see, is Moonstone. Is Silver Satin. And this here is Berry Tone. Oh, sorry, not Berry Tone. Sweet Plum. Sweet Plum. I really like the shade Moonstone which is my brow bone highlight and also my inner corner highlight but I wasn't a fan of silver satin but I did like Sweet Plum so Sweet Plum and Moonstone are the two colors that I liked from the three colors that I received so yeah it's pretty good it's pigmented absolutely no fallout i actually applied the foundation first and then applied my eyeshadows but there was absolutely no fallout so that's like a win-win for me so yeah it's very good i did receive an eyeliner which is mary k mk black which is in the shade mk black and this 
this is how pigmented it is so it's amazing I absolutely loved it I think I liked everything except for their lipstick yeah the eyeliner is pretty black as you can see it's like black and I'm not sure as to how long each of these last because I've just applied the makeup and I will let you know in my further videos as to how long they last and how amazing they are. The last product that I received was makeup product that I received was the foundation. So this is matte wear liquid foundation. I do have combination and oily skin so matte works perfect for me. Maybe the shade was too light for me but the way the foundation sets and uh, how it looks on my skin is something that I like at least until now but as I told you I will tell you in my future videos as to how long this lasted and how amazing it was or how not so amazing it was but first review first impressions pretty good pretty impressed I do have some skincare which is like moisturizer and face mask etc etc which I haven't tried yet but I will let you guys know in my future videos as to how well they worked so uh, on the review part that's it for now these are please remember these are first impressions and not a review where I've used the product for like a long time and then telling you this is just a first impressions video I'm glad I received these samples as they were so much fun to work with and the quality is simply amazing and I'm highly impressed and would probably buy a full size of few of these so to check it out if you enjoyed this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you guys are the first to know when I post something new I do post a video every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday I might miss a few days in between if whatever reason but Tuesday Thursday Saturday I try my level best to post videos thank you for watching see you in my next video